Hello friends, this video on Thermodynamics Part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched Part 1 to Part 24. About the thermodynamics also on the entropy, so let's discuss that also. It says that at absolute 0 degree Celsius, 0 Kelvin, the entropy of the perfect crystalline is 0. That's third law of thermodynamics says that at absolute 0 Kelvin, the entropy of the perfect crystalline is 0. Since we have learned entropy, we have to standardize it. So we have something called standard molar entropy. So when entropy, we talk about uh, uh, in uh, 298 uh, Kelvin, one atmospheric pressure and uh, one mole of substance, then this is called standard molar entropy. This is denoted by SM, molar entropy. Because you have taken one mole of substance, the standard temperature, one atmospheric pressure. 298 Kelvin is the temperature. We'll take some examples on the entropy where you to predict the, which of the following is the entropy decrease or entropy increase. So liquid crystallized into solid. So from liquid, I go to solid. That means obviously there is a decrease in entropy, right? Because I am making sure that the molecules get less space to move around. The temperature is increased from 0 to 50. Since the temperature is increased, the entropy will increase. We have discussed that if the increase in temperature, the kinetic energy of the molecules increase and they have become more random. Right? But there is issue with total energy, total entropy. As I told, we always talk about total entropy. So what is the issue with total entropy? I was able to find the entropy of system, but finding entropy of surrounding is very, very difficult. Till now, I am at a point where I can tell whether the reaction is spontaneous or not based on the total entropy of the system. Is not based on total entropy of the system. But finding total entropy is difficult. Why? Because total entropy is nothing but entropy of system plus entropy of surrounding. And it is very, very difficult to find entropy of the surrounding. So, what should we? How to find entropy of surrounding? The easiest way is entropy of surrounding can be minus q by t. As I told that. We can relate entropy as Q by T, this formula we have derived. Okay. So surrounding entropy we can say as minus Q by T because the system is giving some heat to the surrounding. So with that, if we can find the entropy of surrounding and this Q is nothing but change in enthalpy of the system. Correct? Because we are talking at constant pressure always. Because in the real life we use at constant pressure constant. So we use for uh, Q at constant pressure will be change in enthalpy of the system. So with this, if you see S total will be S system plus S surrounding that is S total is S system. S surrounding is nothing but minus delta S system by T multiply everything with t you get this t delta s total is this value and then you get minus t delta s is this you just flipped it right and we will call this value as a new new name called g delta g so we were concerned about delta s total right but finding s total was difficult so we gave a new term called delta g of system that is nothing but delta h of system minus t delta h of system. so if you see in this reaction in this equation everything is for system i have to find delta h of system i have to find delta h system correct and since if you see it was uh, delta g is nothing but minus t delta s so sign will change as i told delta s has to be positive for spontaneous reaction so it will now be delta g has to be negative for spontaneous reaction Right? Because I added a negative sign. See, you can still find delta S and you can tell the reaction is spontaneous or not. 
but for that I have to find this and this. Finding this was difficult. So this guy Gibbs has did this uh, mathematical equations and he gave this term delta G. So that people remember him also. And then we have this delta G. With delta G we can easily find now whether the reaction is spontaneous or not. And in this to find delta G we need only system parameters. We need entropy of system, we need enthalpy of system. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.